How's it going, guys? It is 4.32 a.m., Valentine's Day, here in Japan, and we have a difficult question for pediatrics for 2CK pathology for step one. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L M A N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. Previously healthy nine-year-old girl, rash in her left arm for the past seven days, blood pressure 150 over 95. Examination shows a yellow crusted rash with excoriations, which means scratch marks. On the dorsal aspect of the left forearm, remainder of the physical exam shows no abnormalities apart from a repetitive leftward movement of the upper lip. Urinalysis shows 2 plus protein, 30 red blood cells, prior powered field, 10 white blood cells, prior powered field. Question wants to know most likely diagnosis. Let's whip through the answer choices. Choice A, diffuse proliferative glomerulonephritis, DPGN, wrong fucking answer. This, all you need to know is this is going to be red urine, nephritic syndrome, and a patient who has SLE. That's it. Okay? Lupus nephritis. So patient has lupus. There's red urine. They ask you for what's the renal diagnosis. Answer, DPGN. This isn't lupus. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, an actually purple wrong answer. Non-existent yieldness for step one, high yield for pediatrics for 2CK. Classically a tetrad, number one. Palpable purpura on the buttox thighs can appear on the trunk, number two. Arthralgias, number three, abdominal pain, number four, IG nephropathy, which is red urine. Uh, classically following a viral infection, but the vignette need not mention the viral infection, sometimes a GI infection. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, membranous glomerulonephritis, wrong answer. And instantly we know this is wrong because this is a nephrotic syndrome. We would not have blood in the urine. Multifarious etiologies, manifold. Autoimmune diseases such as SLE, RA, cancers, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer. Drugs, dapsone, gold salts, sulfonamides. Can be infections, hepatitis B. Can be primary. Autoantibodies against phospholipase A2 receptor. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, proliferative glomerulonephritis, correct answer. This shows up on the new NBME exams. You need to know that this refers to PSGN. If you wiki post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, you'll see in the article, AKA, proliferative glomerulonephritis, okay? Not membranal proliferative, not diffuse proliferative, just regular proliferative glomerulonephritis. That's PSGN. Now you say, well, how is this PSGN? Okay, well, you need to know that uh, it need not occur uh, after pharyngitis. It can be cutaneous group A strep. So this is in Pitigo. Now, Staph aureus, in theory, does eclipse group A strep for both non bolus and bolus and Pitigo. But US assembly doesn't give a fuck, and this is clearly PSGN that we have here. So it's going to be red urine one to three weeks after a strep infection. You need to know tangentially that IJ nephropathy would be red urine one to three week, one sorry one to three days after a sore throat. Okay, so if they give you sore throat in a twelve year old and red urine one to three weeks later, that's PSGN. We have a week here. If they give you twelve year old sore throat, red urine one to three days later, days. That's IJ nephropathy from viral infection, not PSGN. So here is PSGN. You say, why is the blood pressure elevated? Well, we have nephritic syndrome, and we get hypertension in nephritic syndrome. And U.S. only wants you to know the mechanism is increased RAS. get inflammation of the microvasculature of the kidney, transient decrease in blood flow, renin goes up. So you say, what's going on with the repetitive leftward movement of the upper lip? Okay, it's weird, right? Well, this is referred to as PANDAS, all capitals, which is a psych condition, pediatric autoimmune neuropsychiatric disorder associated with streptococcus, which is going to be a tick slash Tourette, ADHD or OCD, weeks following a strep infection. I think it's weird, not my fucking opinion. It's on the psych forms for 2CK. And it's on the actual USMLE, okay? I have received feedback about that, let alone the fact that the CMS and the NBMEs are the USMLE and questions repeat. So this is PSGN with PANDAS here, uh, secondary to group A strep in Pitigo. Lastly, rapidly progressive glyonephritis, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be fibrin crescents in a patient who has a vasculitis, okay? So Wegener granulomatosis polyngitis, Church strassi, eosinophilic granulomatosis polyngitis, 
Microscopic polyngitis can be good pasture syndrome. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal makes you make more content if you like my stuff. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.